am I doing now? As I'm on hold. Yeah, what are we doing? What are we doing? He has uh, 6,000 miles on it. It's on the floor for 16. So the 22, what, is there any special difference in models, or is the Pan America just one model only? They're pretty much identical. Right. Um, the, 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 20, the, the 21, they, they, uh, they're, they're both S models, but the, the 21, the one that I have on the showroom floor, doesn't have the adaptive headlight that, that works during cornering. Yeah, so the that 22. Might, that, that may have been added in a later model year. So the 22 has that? 22 has that, yes. Now, what's the retail on a brand new one? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> is there any big difference between 22 to 24? Do you know? 23, 24, there's virtually no difference that I know of. I think they're having a special, they're going to have a uh, special edition. To CVO. Um, 24, Pan America to be yeah. CVO. That's what I've already, it's all over the internet. Yeah. Okay, so the 22 is in your showroom. Does it have like... Uh, saddlebags or anything, or the brackets or saddlebags, or is it just still pretty naked? <laughs> it doesn't have the saddlebags. I think, let me, let me go take a look. I think it may have the brackets. Hold on one second. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We sell more than a lot, a lot of the dealers. Right. And, you know, I mean, I'd like to sell you a bike that I have here, but I may be able to work you a heck of a deal on a, on a, on a 23 and I just go just go get one for you okay well I'm right up the road I'm on 70 coming into Frederick so Walter right yep all right yeah so one of my subscribers he is he's hammering the heck out of me to go look at a Pan America he's like man you gotta check out the Pan America and you know what's incredible I'm hearing now from these um you know, a few dealers that the Pan America is a hot item and they don't have a problem selling them. But at the same time, you just heard the guy say you could probably find a leftover 23 and give me a heck of a deal. I don't know. You know, here's the thing do I pull back in the Tiger? <sighs> Yikes. <laughs> another, another, another uh, adventure of an adventure, adventure bike, right? Yeah, a subscriber Green Rush. You're really hammering the heck out of me. Hey, Green Rush, watch my channel. I think you are. He's convincing me to go check out a Pan America. So here we go. I'm gonna go to Frederick Harley Davidson. And look, look all the people here, right? Yippee Yahoo. Who rode their bike? There's no way. There's no way that this guy, this person, has their motorcycle out here. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's interesting times. So here we go. All right, what are you doing now? What are we doing now? With the alarm going off, driving you nuts. Here at Frederick Harley Davidson, gonna check out a Pan America, all because of Green Rush. One of my uh, subscribers is pushing the heck out of me to be a Pan America guy. So, isn't this great? Alarm's coming, going. Guess they know I'm here. I guess they're prepared for me, right? So where is it? I look way back there. I see it way back there. All right, here we go. I've never ever have checked out the Pan America. I didn't even know they had a black one. So, Mr. Sean, man, how are you? Long time no see. Yeah, so one of my subscribers, Green Rush, is hammering the hell out of me. This one I should be buying. It's a good looking bike. Question is the seat height. Seat height, but it is a good looking bike. 1250. Wow. So. This is the 22. Oh, so this is the uh, the black one. It's the one that's available. This is dangerous. All right, look at the fit and finish. It's got the uh, high crash bars. 
Got some, the pipes. It's a Harley, right? But I wonder how it sounds. I wonder how this sounds. Oh, it's got the, uh, the mounts. But I gotta get on it. But that's, a, yeah, see, to get on it, really should go on the other side. I'll get the Mr. Sales guy over here to check it out. And, you know, once again, look at the steering stabilizer shock. Interesting buying motorcycles i know sean back there i know that guy over there trouble at the parts counter he may know a lot about this pan america actually he does not so all right it's got the new um what do they call it the new revolution motor and you're saying this this headlight here that's an upgrade or that's just something new for 2022 something that's 2022 on the special so this is a special Versus this is not a special. That, that's a special also, but it didn't it didn't come with the adaptive headlight. Okay, all so right. The, the special the, the the special has the the ride height adjustable. This so does. When, so when you when you come to a stop, the the bike will lower down. Really? Yeah. So like right now we're getting this bike, and I turn it on, it may lower down further, or it's already lowest point. Depending on where it was when it shut off, but if you if you sit on the bike and and. and and turn it on, it may lower down. Or, you know. Okay, so now this has a mag wheel, that is a spoke wheel. Tell me your spoke wheels are more of the off-road versus the on-road. Do you know that? So is this like a smaller front tire same versus... Si same size tires. But why is this a mag wheel versus that's a spoke? Do you know? They, they made both available. Um, more of a look, aesthetics, than actually yeah, performance, some, some, or you know? Some people will buy this bike and don't really intend on riding it off-road. Well, sure, right. It's the look, it's experience. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so, on this, where is the key to hear the motor and hear the and hear the sound? Well, and it, it, has a, it has a key fob. Okay. So, it has to, it, so it this has is just for the lock for the steering then? Correct. Okay, so we can start it up right now. Yeah. Okay. Or can it's we? In neutral. It's in neutral. <laughs> that sounds like a beefy motor. Might have to cycle it for the. Might have to cycle it for the fuel pump. Sometimes the trick is you turn off and on, primes it a little better. That's sometimes a little trick of these fuel injected bikes. They've been sitting a while. Maybe, hopefully. Yeah, I think you've got to got to prime it. I know when I go to our dealers, they always tell me let the bike. Like you cycle over two or three times, or if it's a Harley. <laughs> I can hear that fuel pump. There you go. There you go. All right. Interesting how the rear uh, tail lights are. So. A little gas. That's good. You're good. I know you don't want to have a, you don't want to kill us in here. All right. So can I sit on it? Yeah. Okay. So the technique for most guys to do this is they go to this side here and they get on the left side. Yeah. So how? So this yeah. kickstand here is yeah. plenty strong to do that, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. So that's interesting here. So a seat on this here. There you go. Is uh, it's not bad. It's pretty good, but you're saying actually you can go down further in this setting. Well, I just turned it on, so it's going to be it's going to be as low as it's going to be right now. I'm going to take the kickstand up. All right. Okay. So now, so you go through here. Lots of freaking buttons. I mean, Jesus Christ! Holy crap! There's your heated grips. Right. I doubt it has a heated seat. It doesn't have a heated seat, and, and the, it might not have the heated grips, but it, the button is there to add them. Oh, gotcha. Okay. We can just push this here. I usually show you the screen, so I don't think it does. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it's got European-style headlight flashes. Right. And this is your menu here. So, what are the settings? There's the bike. Yeah. This, and there's this the... will work with your phone, so when you pair your phone up, if you're listening to media on your phone, right, gotcha. You, know, you got a phone adapter. Yep. You can, you can change radio uh, songs and. Gotcha. Okay. Um, there should be a push to talk button. Yeah. Um, 
I'm just trying to get through here and see where the... Right here. So right. you can access your phone with a Bluetooth headset right. and make phone calls from the... Okay. Um, I'm just trying to go through here and see if I can find the suspension settings. So you'd think that would be it right there. Um, but I'm not getting anything there. Diagnostics. So let's see here. It's just now. Yeah, see, I really, really don't want that. So I wonder where, I didn't really go through all of these, but look here, hmm. music, home, settings. So I'm saying I wonder where the suspension, let's do it's just right here. This button right here. Um, I don't know. Let's go to ride customization <clears throat> to turn it turned off. And you can hear that fuel pump. It has a steering stabilizer. That's kind of impressive. All right, so where'd you go there? There you go. Gotcha. Okay. I can. Vehicle loading. Hold control bank. Huh. Ride modes. Rain, the bank road score. Bank. Light and right, is, is the, you can do the turn the headlight. Right, on. gotcha. Okay, so custom off road, custom B. Okay, so right now it's in rain, non rain. Go to road. You, you have the choice of, of customizing two maps from all the different settings. Okay, so throttle throttle response is customizable. Engine braking is customizable. Right, right. Traction control is customizable. Okay. Have you ever ridden one of these? No. Okay. Have you ever heard anybody come back that buys these and says anything? You ever heard anybody go like, wow, this is a, more than I thought it'd be. It's a Harley, and they did a really good job on this. Or, eh, it's a Harley off-road bike, and I can tell. You know what I mean? Most of the people that, that, that ride them like them. Okay. And you were saying that you thought you might actually have some uh, other dealers may have some 23s yeah. that they're wanting to get rid of. Let's see if she starts up now, being that she's had her, uh, ooh. Oh, the, so the engine, this thing just went down. The suspension just lowered for me. Right. So now the battery's dead. Isn't that, isn't that nice? <laughs> but the but the, but the the suspension actually went down a little bit. Okay, yeah. So that's interesting. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so, uh, all right, Walter here is going to help me out. He says there may be three or four colors for 2023, and saying there may be some leftovers out there that he can get me a 23, and they're anxious to move them. Maybe we'll take one away from our dealership. So we're going to sit down and look at his computer and see what the options are and see if there's anything that really gets me more excited. Wow, screw. So here's a guy who just traded in his custom street glide that he made totally custom bigger front tire the uh, long front uh, fender the he did what to the uh, motor to it he he, he put uh, uh, a zippers computer right a zippers 575 cam wow uh, did know, the meat hangers all in, all in suspension right in the rear saddleman seat the Bassani I don't even know who's that's that uh and check out the gauges. Oh my, so he did LED. Wow. This guy. And then what is this? What, what muffler is that? The shark? I, yeah. Shark muffler. This thing must sound uh, loud. Yeah, it does. Wow. So when did you guys get this thing in? About three weeks ago. And he traded it for a Pan America. Yeah. A brand new one. Yeah. Ha! Ah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's radical. Oh my gosh. So you guys are wanting... Twenty-eight nine ninety-nine for it. Twenty twenty-two. This is pretty badass. Maybe out there looking for a really. I mean, you know, I would have to say he's he's into this bike forty grand plus. He, 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 I think he put about eighteen thousand dollars in, into customization. Right over the price of the bike. Yeah. So I'm sure he's at probably maybe close to fifty. Yeah. But is this a street glide special? Just a standard. A standard. Okay, so it's a one hundred seven motor or one ten. Yeah, that's what it started out at. Yeah. 107? Yeah. Right. Okay. So, wow. But, you know, he, he, you know the, the, 
the, the different trim on the cylinder heads, right. the, the rocker barks. Man, Project Bike Big Time only yet in the end to sell it for a Pan America. Have you ever heard back from a guy? No, he's from Baltimore. I don't, I mean, he doesn't swing by here very often, but. Wow, incredible. So he just, Walter here just sold this Whiskey Neat CVO Road Glide 2023, and a guy wants a tour pack. Yep. How about that? So, but as far as selling these, when it comes, when the Whiskey Neat comes in, it probably goes away. Yeah, it doesn't sit here very long. But when the Platinum comes in, it sits here for a while. Yeah. It's just everybody has those, right? It, it, to, a lot, to a lot of people. Oh, I wish Steven was here. There's a 2024 20, reveals here, and he's saying that they're not going to update these these bikes. Yeah. They are. Yeah. If you see the pictures, the new Street Glide and Road Glide, yeah. they're, they're the new styling. You know about it? 2024, then you know 24th is the big reveal. You know yeah, that, yeah, right? Yeah. So, but Steven, last time I was here, he was telling me, no way will Harley update these touring bikes because he had too many of them. Well, guess what? They're updating them. Yeah. <laughs> that's where it's all going. Yeah. And you can get a CVO Pan America. That's the next, that's supposedly. Who knows? We see it. That's all the internet news, you know? All right. Well, I'm going to head out because I want to ride this uh, Pan America, but with it being snow on the ground, that's not going to happen today. So, Walter's going to let me ride it another day. And thank you, sir, for your, all your time. Okay. And he'll even get me a brand new one if I want one. It was just coming from our dealer. So uh, I bought some paraphernalia, and how about that? It's all about spending the money. All right, Walter, thank you. Take care. So we're gonna head on out and get out of here before I buy something else. And now I'm intrigued to know: Do I buy a Pan America? I don't know. I'd have to ride it, kind of ride it. And I mean, I think that would be smart, advantageous to do, and see how it is. But the downside is, it's all about the deal. Very structured at Motorcycles of Dallas. It's a uh, it's a really good deal. I mean, getting good money for my trade, and they are discounting the Tiger. It's kind of hard to believe it. The Tiger is about uh, three, four grand more than the uh, Pan America in some ways. So what do I do? I don't know. It's always the Iceman Adventures. And I went in for Green Rush, my subscriber, hammering how I should get a Pan America. I wouldn't even be here. So we'll see if Mr. Pan. Let's see if Mr. Green Rush is put me in the right course or put me in the wrong course. Is the Tiger better than the, than the Harley, or is the Harley better than the Tiger? I don't know. It's all about riding it. See how it rides. See how it feels. All right, let me get the heck out of here before I buy something else. Right? I run over a motorcycle. Yeah. I got the Frederick Harley Davidson, and uh, I've been here throughout the years and are they aggressive eh, they're not real aggressive so you usually end up going somewhere else but the used one's nice but i don't know i mean i don't know i just yeah is, there, is the harley pan america really have the quality that the tiger has i mean at the end of the day am i going to be that much happier on a harley pan america over my uh, tiger 1200 it all comes down to riding them. At this time of year, it's a little more challenging because of the weather. So, but the smart thing to do is to ride them and get the real feel. But challenge here is the deal for me. I'd have to write the guy a check, which I'm not excited about that. First of all, so the other deal is a more favorable deal. And sincerely, I mean, what's the impression from others on the uh, the Pan America? I mean, sincerely, what do, what do people think about the Pan America? I don't know. I just haven't really. Interesting to hear both sides of you. A person says, oh, man, the Tiger, so much better refined, true tried product. Or no, the, the, the Harley-Davidson is a really great product. Great price, great value. So you use them back there. Out the door without haggling, I'm at 20 grand, 816 with taxes. So they're wanting 1894. Oh, got a call. I yeah. thought you just got a Triumph Tiger. Well, I mean, sure, the Triumph Tiger deal is, is uh, all in process. I never signed anything, and 
hasn't been totally finalized, but the Pan America, I just think it'd be wise to ride it, check it out, really see what it is. I mean, I just kind of have a hard time believing that the Tiger isn't every bit as good or better than the Pan America. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I just don't know the product. I haven't followed it. I think you should get a Tiger Triumph. I don't like the Pan America. Yeah, I know. I just don't think the Harley. I mean, I don't know. Have to, you know, it doesn't hurt to weigh options. But I mean, the more, the more the the better deal is the Tiger because of me trading there at Motorcycle to Dallas to trade anything at this Harley dealership. That won't work. Numbers won't work. But anyways, the good news is. I think I'm going to just check it out and uh, because it's nice to know. So you already did check it out? I haven't ridden it. I've sat on it. I heard it start up. I've, you know, I've touched it, fielded it. They got a used one. They got a used one, which is a pretty good deal. Um, but I haven't ridden it. You know, that's the thing. You got to ride it. Until you ride it, you just don't know. So, you know, that's what I'm doing right now is just kind of doing some research. And I lucked out because the Pan America isn't always at, a lot of dealerships don't have Pan Americas. I mean, usually they kind of sell pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. They usually move pretty quickly. You don't really flood the market with Pan Americas. So, you know, it's not like a dealership has 10 of them, all a few of them. And typically, they move pretty quickly. So... Once again, I just think it's intriguing to kind of look into it and see if it makes any sense or not. I don't know. So that's what's going on, baby. That's cool. Yeah, so anyways, that's it. That's all. So I'll just see you when I get back in the house, okay? Did you just leave the Harley dealer? Yeah. Yep, I'll see you when you get home. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.